guys got a new video out for you today so we're looking at AMS2 we're going to up the performance and the clarity using different applications we're going to use MSI a mode utility to prioritize the GPU we're going to look into NVIDIA control panel NVIDIA inspector to put little commands in there also we're going to use open toolkit XR and use open composite to bypass Steam VR itself and then we're going to look into the Pico 4 settings. So yeah, it's quite a lot of details going into this one. Um, just to increase the performance, make it look better. It's a bit over the top, but at the end of the day, it's worth your while. And yes, yeah, just follow it all the way through. We've got all the links in the description and all the commands that you can put into the directory itself. And yeah, so it's a bit more than just putting in the basic commands also I'm going to show you the basic generic stuff going into the game itself and tweaking the uh, visuals and you know, the graphic options there so yeah pay attention and be worth your time trust and uh, enjoy right to get things started we're gonna go ahead to Microsoft Store and, and type in OpenXR tools which is Windows Mixed Reality, yeah. So this is the interface you'll be greeted once you've opened. There's nothing fancy in here, just jot these settings in there and leave everything else the way it is. So next we're gonna install OpenXR Toolkit. You can find the links in the description. So once we've got OpenXR Toolkit installed, these are the options that you'll have. I just like to basically keep these three um, boxes unticked and then on the bottom section of this interface we have um, hotkeys that you can assign so I've got up, down, right, left and to enable the actual um, interface to drop in the VR you have to hold down control and down and then you'll see the settings of the OpenXR toolkit within the VR environment. The second thing that we want to do is install Open Composite. I will have a link in the bottom of the description. Right, so this is Open Composite Runtime Switcher and we're going to be greeted with two tabs. One is Open Composite to switch to Open Composite. The other one is to switch to Steam VR. And now we don't want to use Steam VR, we want to bypass that. And there's many reasons that we want to do that is because we get a bit of a performance boost and is less of an obstacle to get the game running and I find sometimes Steam VR it loses focus um, in the app itself so yeah OpenXR is a way forward I would say if you click on this configure file you can see that the, the previous games that have been running in Open Composite but all you want to do basically is click on the top tab and it'll download two DIL files to the directory of the game Right, just to make sure the deal files have been put across into the AMS2, I've got into the description the 32-bit and the 64-bit deal files that you can copy and paste yourself manually, and I recommend that you do this. Next thing I want to show you is NVIDIA Control Panel and my settings. Now, you right-click, go into NVIDIA Control Panels, manage 3d settings and you want to click on this tab which says program settings from there you want to browse to the AMS folder click on add and then you browse for the folder and the actual file is going to be called ms2avx.exe so once that's loaded up there we've got the rest of the settings below and you can just copy and paste what I've got here next thing what we want to do, we want to open this MSI mode utility, right click, go to administration and then we'll get a list of all the devices on your computer and then we're going to go into the interrupt priority and increase that and put it on high to prioritise your card, graphics card over any other device. So the other thing we will look at is NVIDIA Profile Inspector and there's four settings to be changed. Details about these settings will be in the link below.
So there's another little tweak we can do with the game itself. If you go into the directory and we click on graphics config, open VR DX11, and we've got a list of all the settings in game, which you can just tweak. But the most important part is the three ones at the bottom in terms of clarity. So sharpening the, um, the image, you want to put this line in there, and then we've got a sharpening third clamp and offset bias 1.1. These are my um, virtual desktop streamer settings. Come with a H.264 Plus to allow higher bitrate at 400. And my OpenXR runtime instead of the Steam VR. So we're in the Pico headset now, and we need Steam running in the background for this. Then on this tab here, instead of opening the, the standard launch VR. We're going to click on a tab here which says games and in this section here we can see AMS2. So this is going to bypass Steam VR and just have in mind that we need open composite switch to the open XR tab that I showed you earlier. So it's open composite tab and not the Steam VR. So we have that in the background and yeah so we double click on the game here and we're going to enter it right now. So guys, we're in game now, I'm going to show you my graphics settings. In order to do that, let's go into Options, Performance tab, and here's a list of my options. Um, getting a good consistent frames of 75, 80, whatever. Right, so the next option we're going to go is my visual options. Um, it's perfect preference as well, I would reckon. And let's go into virtual reality. These are my settings there. Super sampling's at 1.2, and that might be a bit high. You can lower that, but it's working for me just fine at the moment. Um, that's super annoying. Um, this, these options here will reset your virtual reality centering point every time you enter a game. And now this is the head movement in the game, personal preference as well, but these are my options. And there you have it guys, all the options that I've put into the game. Yep. So guys, we're going to open XR Toolkit in, in the game itself. So in order to do that, we need to hit Control and Down Arrow on the keyboard. And that's what we assigned earlier in the software. So these are my settings for performance. Tab, and I've got opted for the INS upscaling, sharpening method and reduce the resolution to 80%, sharpening is at 20% and I feel that this is working for me, I don't have FFR um, for this graphics card because it's a dated one and if I did have it, it would be amazing in terms of performance to be gained but unfortunately we don't have it on the 10 series graphics cards. Anyways, let's go into the next tab which is the appearance and here we're just looking at the contrast brightness exposure and what have you there and there my settings in order to make the game look a bit slightly more realistic instead of it being cartoony this is my system set tab settings and i've reduced um, the field of view on all four corners of the rendering up down left right to 90 percent and i believe that this has increased the frames per second as well and the visuals are the same in VR. So there you go guys, all the options and settings that I've put into the games. The game should look better, play better. Also you can use these settings in different games as well. Um, the little tweaks that are used in Nvidia and uh, MSI utility as well as the uh, prioritizing GPU and uh, CPU loads application that I used earlier. Of course you can use OpenXR in other compatible games, in your games and frames. The next couple of videos are just going to be with AMS2 and how to insert mods in there, it's straightforward. And then I'll just do a series of all the car mods that are in the game, have a bit of a blast and look at the new tower model physics and whether or not the AI is up to scratch. So please like, subscribe, keep following, nice one.